Right, so we're now on the next job on the car. Got my wife's brand new spot vac, vac spot what? Vac. Don't know how good it's going to be, but hopefully it'll do the job. I've also got my drill with the brush attachments and some extra all-purpose cleaner. So we're going to attack this seat because it is absolutely rank. That one's not much better, so we'll get started on them now and then we'll do all the interior plastics and stuff. So now's a good time to cut in. Driver's seat's done. In fact, just need to back that little bit up there. As you saw, the driver's seat was miles worse than the passenger seat. And now it's pretty much bang on. Still gonna have to glue up these edges. Back of the seats, I'm going to leave. It's not worth putting it into. Still need to back up that little bit there. Back seats, I'm not going to wet back. I'll just give them a good back. I just don't think it's worth bothering. May do the carpet I'll, once I've got it up. Alex, my lad, was started to back up yesterday, but gave up after about 10 minutes as kids do. So, I'll just do that little bit on the headrest now and then I'll move on to the passenger seat. I'll not bother time lapsing that because you've seen me on seat get done. All right, so off camera, done the passenger seat. That's come up nicely. Driver's seat's it's not drying particularly well. Put a bit of all purpose cleaner down and done the steps. Bit of grounding dirt over here, so I'm gonna have to use the, the drill with the brush attachment on it. Just gonna vac out the carpet now and give it a bit of a wet vac. I'm not gonna go over the top with it, but we'll we'll wet vac it and just see how it comes up. And uh, use a bit of APC and the, the drill with the brush attachment on to do the pedals as well. And obviously, see how that map comes up. <laughs> I don't know how well that will have shown up on the time lapse there, but basically give it a vac, wet vac it. It's come up pretty nice. Interior plastic's all nice and clean now. See, still a little bit of dirt there, but I'm not going over the top as I've already said. I'm probably going to lose money on this anyway. All right, so I've ended up wet vac in the rear seats as well they were a little bit dirty i think there's been a dog in here a little bit of dog air and just some patches where you just wouldn't expect dirt like on you know just on the on the way in here so i've cleaned cleaned all the seats just got the windows open now while it dries not cleaned that side of the dash yet done this side found some old tax discs as well so i'll put them in the folder i need to get rid of bits like this from the polishing it's just started raining so the car's beading over i'll just show you what i'm doing now so the next bit the parcel shelf has broke 
off there. So I've got some 28mm sockets to build up this edge. I'm going to chop the top off there and I'm going to epoxy resin that. This side that's broken, I'm going to cut out that section, put it off there, cut the top off and epoxy that on and hopefully that'll have us a working parcel shelf again. Right, so I've just shaped these fittings. That one will sit there just like that and then this one all I'll have to do is fix that one in. That one's just to hold it back. Put that there. It'll allow me to tweak it if I need to as well and then obviously I'll just remove that back one when it's in and just give them a quick spray of satin black. So I'll get them epoxied in now and we'll see what happens. Again, apologies for the noise. It looks like these were originally epoxied in anyhow. says it's five minute epoxy, we'll soon see. So that's that one in. See once uh, it'll want painting. And then this side, this had that in. So this should turn out a little bit better. So I'll let that go off and we'll come back and have a look. So there's the fittings, glued on. Gonna give them a quick try now. And then uh, give them a paint. Well, it's rested. <laughs> I'd say that's working. Once I've got some satin black. Parcel shelf is painted. Nothing special, but it should look a bit better. I'll fit it in now and I'll show you. So there it is, fitted in place, painted. I think it looks alright. And then that side. It's uh, not massively noticeable, but it's something that really rips me off. Things like that. So that's working okay now. The only thing I'm really left with is this. I was deliberating over whether to leave it or not, but I don't think I can. So for how long it'll take me to sand that back, get a bit of paint, get rid of all this crap, and just blend blend out that quarter. I won't do a lot. We'll take this out. This, this grill, it's got overspread on it anyway. Flick that open. Just do a really small repair. So that's going to get done probably next weekend. Alright, so that's this done for this, uh, this episode. On the next one, we're going to be... Oh, I don't even know when that's going to be. It might be a little while off yet. So... It's a week till I get the MOT booked in. Uh, in fact, it's booked in for its MOT in a week's time. So we'll see how the MOT goes. I'm going to get some paint ordered. I'm going to do a full service on it. The service will include, I'll do the spark plugs, I'll do the cam belt. I will do oil filter. I may redo the coolant system, but I'm, I'm undecided on whether to bother on that because that's 30 quid that don't really need spending. Um, I'm, I'm undecided we'll see but that's it for this one and i'll see you on the next one and we'll see whether we lose any money on it